when NPC came out to tell us that they are owing six billion dollars, and that is why they increased the pump price of PMS, which you know as fuel. How now? How? How are you owing six billion dollars if we are not paying subsidy? They send us by some sort of magic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they will buy landing costs. They say landing costs are 1,600. Uh, President will send me say for 600. You understand? Know uh, so that difference sometimes government will give them. Sometimes government will give them. See, now they don't calculate them now. They are owing $6 billion. What do we call it if not subsidy? Now, why I tell them, I say, they convert our subsidy to palliative. And the palliative that they give them when they won't give. And when they don't want to give, they don't give. Now, why NMP is not the toxic? Hey, well, we cannot continue with 600 naira pump price because we are owing six billion dollars. How? Eh? How now? Now, some people don't they talk say this government, Tinubu, has committed uh, an impeachable offense. Say yes. Him don't commit impeachable offense. You cannot tell us that you have removed first subsidy and you're going behind to subsidize. Say it is an impeachable of hey if you say as this guy take analyzer show show me eh if you say take analyzer when I go and say eh hey, Tinubu has committed an impeachable offense even the presenter where him and follow the talk on top national TV the woman can't the fear when they don't come saka say how this man gonna talk say eh, eh, Tinubu should be impeached on top Tinubu eh, Tinubu eh, TV station because Tinubu get TV signal. <laughs> the woman provoke, you say, hey, don't say that. Don't. Wait till consign, wait till consign the man. He cut no, they talk, wait till they talk. I bet I'm gonna know, I'm make I carry on and I rush. So I'm gonna go here waiting, show, show, me talk as he take touch. This impeachable offense, where President Tinubu don't commit and he should be impeached immediately. He leave that responsibility to the National Assembly. Make a watch. President, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria happens to have also given himself the responsibility of being the Minister of Petroleum. Therefore, we will, when discussing that responsibility of Minister of Petroleum, we will relieve him of his presidential immunities and speak to him as a minister. <laughs> Mr. President, Minister of Petroleum, you have committed an impeachable offense and you should be impeached. You cannot say we don't pay subsidy anymore. And the NMPC, which comes under your supervisory purview as Minister of Petroleum, will now come to public space and tell us that a whooping $6 billion is being owed because they have been, they don't want to call it subsidy, selling or providing petrol by some magic. Under our laws, Government money cannot be spent unless they are properly appropriated. Where did you get the appropriation authority to expend money that way? First problem. Second problem. You have a duty to supervise NMPC to the extent that all the monies they make, they do not just go on the frolic of their own to spend it without some clear understanding of what, when, how, and by whose authority. Second impeachable offense. I think the National Assembly to figure out a way to deal with that. In terms of what but, the but, uh, but said, Mr. Shumi, I am totally sorry. I'm, I apologize now for the interruption. I just w wanted you to apply some caution in, in your thoughts regarding what you deal with impeachable offenses. Yes, yes, against the president. But the, no, now come now. If you spend, if you spend appropriation. If you spend money with that is not properly appropriated according to the Appropriation Act, that's truly an impeachable offense. But we'll come back to that. I'm, I told you I'm relieving him of his duty as president so that we can talk to him as Minister of Petroleum. So that's that. Now, on the whether the president promised that he's going to increase the price or not with labor, I think it does not matter what the president has promised. The president ought to know that this Nigerian establishment, this estate, made up of the citizens of this country, the visitors that come in, and all of the people that are here. We cannot afford an arbitrary increase in the price of petrol. There is no reason for that. Oh, now hear them. You cannot tell us that you have removed first subsidy and you are going behind to subsidize. No, you cannot. And everybody that you spend must be appropriated. 
So you remove fresh subsidy and you are paying for fresh subsidy. Who appropriated it? Where did it come from? It's an impeachable offense. Now, tifri and fraud be that. Explain to the Nigerian people. How is NMPC owing six billion dollars? How? Shouldn't we impeach you, Mr. Tinubu? Why is it that this government, everything about this government is shrouded in secrecy? They don't say the truth. Fire subsidy is gone. How is NMPC owing six billion dollars? How? And now they have increased for a pump price to collect back their money. I, I saying. But what we are saying at that time that they have introduced subsidy through the backyard because you cannot maintain the price, the pump price of uh, at six hundred for PMS when the price of oil at the international market has changed and our currency keeps collecting bits from the dollar steady, 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 and then the pump price of PMS is still six hundred. I say there is something wrong somewhere. You should have escalated more than that. But they kept at six hundred and they were going behind to be doing palliative. Sometimes they go pay, so then they don't go pay. And now why this money not reach six billion dollars? Who won't pay? Him? Is it not an impeachable offense? Are you seeing it? Uh-huh. Uh show show me. You raised a very vital point. And don't they even pay me for all of this. When I say they take trick uh NLC. Master planner. Then call for a meeting. They say, what? The 250,000 that people are asking for. No, we'll give it 250,000. But we'll increase pump price to maybe one five or 2,000. Or we'll return it as, we'll return it at 600 and pay you 70,000. Let me look, look, look. Say, ah, me no be like, say, we'll carry ourselves, we'll put inside trouble. Mba, give us 70,000 naira, return 600 pump price. They don't know, say, ah, piala for koso. They don't dribble them. If you reach one more, they don't pass that uh, minimum wage. They call high cam now. Some people they say one two, some people they say one five. And Labour cannot say anything. Labour is complaining now. But what do you want to do? It has been passed into law now. It has been passed into law. So what do you want to say again? Let's come and review it again. Oh, oh they're not possible. You <laughs> see the way they dribble Labour. Eh? Is all right. Uh, the president has committed. A impeachable offense. He should be impeached. And now, yes, you cannot tell us that first subsidy is gone and you are paying first subsidy. And you cannot pay for first subsidy when it's not being appropriated. So, how did you do it? That is fraud. According to show me. Are you, are you getting it? I go say una later. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads. I beg, if you like this update, subscribe to my channel. I beg, I beg, Biko, Ejo. Da Allah. <laughs> Subscribe.